In this lesson, we will learn how to calculate derivatives and integrals using the TI Inspire. To access the commands relating to calculus, we can press the menu button and then navigate to calculus. In the calculus menu, we have a toolbox for all the familiar calculations that we would encounter when studying calculus. We'll look at the basic ones, such as derivative, derivative at a point, integral, and tangent line. If we wish to find the derivative of a function, we would select the first option, derivative. First, we must enter which variable we'd like to differentiate with respect to, and then our expression. We'll differentiate x squared minus x. If we would like to find the derivative at a point, we can go to our calculus menu and select the second option, derivative at a point. In this pop-up menu, we enter in which variable we would like to differentiate with respect to, the value we would like to evaluate it at, so we'll enter in three. The last field is which derivative we would like to evaluate. We have the option of the first, the second, or the nth derivative. We'll look at the first derivative. We now need to enter in an expression we will differentiate. And again, we'll enter in x squared minus x and press enter. The TI Inspire reads the input as the derivative of x squared minus x with respect to x and then substitutes in x equals three. The next command we'll look at is the tangent line command, which can be accessed by pressing menu, navigating to calculus, and then selecting tangent line. The tangent line command will find the equation of a tangent line for a curve at a given point. To use this command, we first must enter in our expression. So again, we'll enter in x squared minus x, then enter a comma, then enter in the point which we wish to find the tangent line at. We'll find the tangent line at x equals negative one and press enter. The TI Inspire will give the output in the form mx plus c. So the way the TI Inspire reads this input is it's finding the tangent line of this expression at the point x equals negative one. To enter an integral, we can go to our calculus menu and select integral. We can enter our terminals in the upper and lower boxes. And our expression in the middle box. And again, we'll look at x squared minus x. In the box to the right of the D, we enter in which variable we'd like to integrate with respect to, in this case, X. We can also access the derivative and integral templates via the template button, located underneath the delete button. Highlighted in blue is the derivative te template, and to the right, we have the second derivative, the nth derivative, and our integral templates.